Other news tonight, a Wichita mom searching for answers. She says her son was hurt at daycare and doesn't feel the daycare took action quick enough. KS and Samantha Boring spoke with the mom and the daycare to find out what happened. She joins us live with that story tonight. Samantha. Emily, Jeff, Deja Brinkley is a mom of three boys. She's been taking them to Angel Wings Learning Center off of Greenwich for about a month and a half. She says last week her almost two-year-old son got hurt at the daycare. She says it took 90 minutes for them to call her and she's questioning what happened. It was Monday, August 8th, when Deasia Brinkley got a call from the owner of Angel Wings Learning Center. She called me and said that my child had fell outside. Deasia says they told her he was crying outside, and when they touch his arm, he cries more. I asked, did you, in you, you guys injured my child? She said, no. no. Um, if you would like to come up to the daycare, we can talk. Deja says when she got to the daycare, she was told he was having a tantrum. But that's when she also learned a teacher had been holding his hand when he was injured. She's claiming that the teacher never yanked or pulled his arm. And the teacher is claiming that she leaned down with him. She pulled her kids from the daycare that day and has not been back. She took her toddler to the ER and she says he had nursemaid's elbow. A common injury in toddlers, doctors say it can happen when a child's arm is pulled or swung. Deja shared her story on Facebook. The post now has over 500 shares. I love each and every one of these kids like they're my own. The daycare owner says there was no abuse and they followed all the correct procedures on the incident. It can be horrible in the fact that someone can just make up a story and then uh, post a picture of a screaming, crying toddler and then it gets shared. 200 something times and it's a lie. The daycare filed a report to KDHE. The mom showed us that report. It says the child and a friend were running outside and a teacher was holding quote friend's hand in one hand and the child's hand in the other to catch them. The child started dropping his body so teacher let go slowly but he dropped down. She did not yank his arm. The incident report also says quote he cried every time we moved his left arm we tried to ice the area. KDHE they did come out last week um, and so they interviewed the teacher in question. They interviewed uh, the teacher that witnessed it. They interviewed us and and uh, got, tried to figure out, you know, how we handled the situation. But DeAsia does not feel enough was done. She filed a police report with WPD and is looking to take further legal action. It makes you scared to send your kids to daycare. The daycare does have cameras, but not in the area where this happened. I asked the owner what she plans to do to avoid situations like this. She said they're working on it. I reached out to the KDHE about this case. It is currently an open and ongoing investigation and said we could learn more about the outcome in the next few weeks. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.